Good morning, Barra Buddies. This is the week of April 26th through May 2nd. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Here's a joke for you. Why did Humpty Dumpty, why does Humpty Dumpty love autumn? Because Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. Let's check in with our special reporters to learn about this week in history and some tips for being a Barra Buddy. This week in history. On April 26, 1954, the polio vaccine trial began. Polio is a virus that affects mostly children. 1.8 million children from the USA, Finland, and Canada were part of the trials. A year later, the vaccine was announced effective and safe. Celebrations this week. April 26th, Alien Day, April 27th, Tell a Story Day, April 28th, Superhero Day, April 29th, International Dance Day, April 30th, Honesty Day. Buddies are brave. This week, we are focusing on the letter B. B stands for brave. One way you can be brave is by sharing your ideas and thoughts. This month, the month of April, is Poetry Month, and we are going to have our annual Poem in Your Pocket Day, which is going to be on April 28th, 29th, and 30th. So on April 28th, we will have our virtual students doing Poem in Your Pocket in your Zooms from wherever you attend school from. And then on the 29th and 30th, our in-person students will come to the library just like you've always done and we'll sit kind of spread out from each other and we'll enjoy sharing our poems into the microphone and giving each other lots of snaps for our poems. So this week on Monday and Tuesday and maybe Wednesday, you're gonna be working on getting your poem ready and practicing so that you can share your poem loud and proud in our poetry cafe, whether it's on Zoom or it's in our library. So I can't wait to see you and celebrate poetry together. And here's Dr. Sabatini with the principal's updates. Good morning, Barrow Buddies. We're excited for a great week ahead at Barrow Elementary School. I'm super excited for a poem in your pocket week. It's spread out to almost a whole week. It used to be poem in your pocket day, but that's really exciting. And I'm going to be getting some poems ready because I will be a guest reader in someone's class. I can't wait to find out who that mystery class will be. And I can't wait to come um, read some poetry in your classroom. So thanks to Mr. Plemons for getting that organized and Ms. Byrne for getting our guest readers going. Um, I want to thank all of our third, fourth, and fifth graders for doing a great job on testing last week. That was a lot to get through and we did it. And so thank you for your persistence and being a brave test taker last week. Um, I also want to give some shout outs for attendance. It was really important that we had good attendance last week so that we could make sure everyone is here for testing and for all the other things that we're learning in school. And um, we had a lot of classes with perfect attendance last week. So these classes get a shout out for having four days of perfect attendance. Ms. Grant's kindergarten class, Ms. Hawking's virtual kindergarten class, Ms. Wiz's first grade, and Ms. Leggett's third grade class all had four days of perfect attendance which is amazing. These classes had three days of perfect attendance, Ms. Brevard's class in first grade, Ms. Freeman's class in third grade, and then two fifth grade classes, Ms. Arnold's class and Ms. Selick's class. So great job to all of those students for getting here to school. And then we had 10 classes that had two days of perfect attendance. I won't read them all, but 10 classes. And then almost every class in our school had at least one day of perfect attendance. So that's really amazing. So keep working hard. I'm coming to school. We have four weeks. We want everyone to be here unless you are sick. If you're sick, you should stay home because um, we don't want any sickness in our school. So um, take good care of yourself. Get a good night's sleep. Make sure you're eating well. Get a little bit of exercise um, so we can all be together for the next few weeks of school. Those are my announcements for the week. Let's take a look at birthdays and shout outs. 
Happy birthday to these Barra buddies this week. Jade Kinney, Jadora Bennett, Ethan Daniel, Elizabeth Mills, Jasmine Davis, Valen Broderick, and Zion Cooper. And happy birthday to Miss McCollum. Want to give a shout out to Winston for his excellent opinion writing last week. He wrote a clear claim, chose relevant details, and used his author's voice. Great work, Winston. Love, Miss Mullins. Also, a shout out to Alexia for her participation and diligence in school. She regularly uses her tools and strategies and is always striving to improve. We are so proud of you, Mrs. McCollum and Mrs. Mullins. A shout out from Miss Olin to Sheree Jones for being her early arriver each day for virtual learning. Also shout out to Titiana, Isaiah, and Malik for contributing each day during each learning segment and for keeping their cameras on for most of the day. Way to go, buddies. Last week, we also celebrated Earth Day and Miss Olin wants to give these Earth Day shout outs to Sheree Jones who noticed that her neighborhood did not have any recycling bins and this has led us to calling the Athens Solid Waste Department and looking into getting recycling bins delivered in her neighborhood. And to Titiana Tarway, who got inspired learning about ways to take care of our earth and cleaned up litter in her neighborhood. While she was outside, she noticed some birds and took pictures to share with the class. Those are awesome. Um, and I also saw that were some other Barra buddies who picked up trash on their way to school this week. So great job for that. Um, and you can keep on celebrating Earth Day this weekend by looking for ways um, to take care of our Earth. So think about doing that. We hope you all have a great week at Barra School. Here, hello, Barra Buddies. Want to hear a joke? What do you call somebody with no body and no nose? Nobody knows. As a Barra Buddy, I promise to be fair, honest, and trustworthy, even when no one is looking because that's the right thing to do. My good choices will help make Barrow excellent. Now we observe a moment of silence before we begin to focus all of our attention on thinking, learning, and working at Barrow School. <laughs> 